what we have sitting in front of us is there's two versions of the Umerks hammer. Both of them 50 cal, both of them hit with tons of force. You can shoot from a 255 grain to a 550 grain bullet out of it. The biggest noticeable difference is we chopped it down from when we go to the, the carbine length here, we're down to a 22 inch barrel on that. And this one comes pre-threaded, ready for your moderator that you wanna put on the front. And all you have to do is unscrew this and you can go ahead and just attach that right on from the very beginning. All the, fu the functionality that you have is exactly the same from the original hammer to the carbine. Other than you got the shorter barrel, the bottle you'll see a little bit different there. That's a 35 inch cubic inch bottle that pumps up to 4,300 PSI as you put inside of that. So you got a lot larger volume and you can see the difference here in length uh, and the width and size that you have from here. To fill them, they're exactly the same. So if I need to charge them up, I can use this foster fitting that's on here and all I do is pull this back, connect it right up to the side. You don't have to use a probe or anything. And so when you disconnect it, you can disconnect it from here and here. And all you do is disconnect and the tank's ready to rock and roll from there. When you get the magazine, people ask me like, how do you load this thing? How do you know which way it goes? Is it going this way? Does it go this way? We actually have like a little indicator on here so it tells you which way to put the bullet in. So as you're putting the bullet in, it goes in directly in this way. You just press it into position and she's ready to go. From that, everything else is basically interchangeable. If you shoot, if you shoot the scope on there, I guess the question somebody would ask me, should I put a smaller scope on here? Should I go with the red dot because it is a carbine version? Heck, I would run the same. If you're running a four x 16 on this one, run a four x 16 on that one. It really depends on how far out you're shooting. This one's just a little bit more maneuverable. A lot easier to carry if you're cutting through trees and brush and things like that. I would say this is probably where you need to go if you got plenty of wide open spaces and things like that and you don't really care. Really, the choice is up to you. Um, which one do I like? That's the one, the question that gets from there. For me, it's the same. I like either one of them there. It just depends on the application I'm using it for.